Last time on Greed. Kenya, $100,000, a lot of money. Let's see if it's there. It's Kenya. They got 100000 in the bank. Is it Ms. Magazine? Yes, it is. These people won half a million dollars. Is Buddy Holly worth a million dollars? Yes! This group earned one million dollars. Hendy? And they took away $500,000. You mean the Beverly Hillbillies? When this man returned, he won a million. What will happen tonight? Welcome to Greed. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Woolery. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the richest, most dangerous game in America. You know, last week on Greed, we started our college rivalries. Our Big Ten group reached the $100,000 level, and now they're going to continue on that game. So let's meet him right now. Samara Spector. Ohio State University, major psychology, criminology, pre-law. Dan Bender. Purdue University, English and history major. Jenna Goodfriend. Pennsylvania State University, majoring in advertising and business. Sarah Nemec. University of Michigan, psychology major. Andy Wallmeyer. University of Wisconsin, I'm a journalism major. Well, welcome back, everybody. Let's talk about the Tower of Greed. Catch everybody up and see how you got to where you are. You have $100,000. They started at $25,000 in $25,000 increments. They worked their way up to $100,000. Their next stop could be $200,000. Then they could move on to $500,000. They could possibly double that and go to a million, and maybe even double that and go to $2 million. So these are the possibilities. They are four questions away from $2 million. You need to remember that any time a group misses a question, they can lose everything. So Andy, in this round, the questions get a little harder. You're uh, gonna have to depend on your other players over here to come up with the answers to some of those questions. Uh, my question to you is, do you wanna keep your 100,000 or do you wanna risk it? And before you answer that, let me tell you what the category to the $200,000 question is. Team life. Now, wanna keep the 100,000 or do you feel the need, Andy? I feel the need, and I think we actually know a little bit about Team Life, so I'm not uh, $200,000. Look what's going to happen. That's the sound of the Terminator. Gives one player a chance to eliminate another player, take his or her money by challenging them to a one-question showdown, or they can keep the group the way it is. But to sweeten the pot, I'm going to give the challenger $10,000 to play the showdown, win or lose. Let's activate the Terminator now. Dan. Terminator's chosen you, Dan. Anybody here that you'd like to call out for $10,000, win or lose? Yeah, I'd like to call out Samara. Samara. Come on, Samara. Here we go, kiddo. Samara, you will be on this side. Dan, you'll be on this side. $10,000 for you, Dan. Now then, I'm going to ask you a question. You can buzz in anytime you think you know the answer. All right? The loser. Uh, the winner will take the loser's share and play for $80,000. The loser will be out of the game. Okay? Ready? Ready, Samara? Yep. Ready, Dan? Yep. Here's your question. In the world of pop music, who is known as the boss? Samara. Bruce Springsteen. She got you, Dan. Got your $10,000, though. Not bad. How you doing, Samara? Happy for you. You're now playing for $80,000, Samara. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your $200,000 question. Good luck. According to a September 1999 survey done for Jansport, what are the four most common items found in a teenager's backpack? Notebooks and binders? Pens and pencils, books, gum, keys, calculator. Okay, that sound means you get a freebie, Andy. And that's good to take away one wrong answer all the way up to $2 million. You can use it right now, or you can wait and use it later. It's up to you. I'm going to have to use it right now. I'm going to use it now. Okay. What did that get rid of? Gum. No gum in those backpacks. So four most common items found in a teenager's backpack. 
According to this survey done by Jansport, Samara, start us off. I know when I was a teenager, I always had pens and pencils in my backpack. Pens and pencils, she says. That's one. Jana? I'm going to say notebooks and binders. That's two. Sarah? Well, I know not everyone has a math pass, but everyone has a house, so I'm going to guess the keys. She says keys. Andy, the last one's up to you. Well, I'm going to start off with books. Books. OK, that's all four answers. Now, Andy, if you're happy with those, you can keep it the way it is. If you question something, you can change it because you're a captain. So you can change one answer if you like. A lot of my girlfriends had purses, and I usually keep my keys in my pocket. So I think I'm going to change keys to calculator because math is required uh, in many schools. I think, Sarah, he's changing your keys to calculator. I hope he's right. She seems happy about it, no matter. Well, that's it. Calculator. That's All it. locked in. Here we go. Let's see what we do. Books. It's correct. <laughs> Pens and pencils. Yes. <laughs> Notebooks and binders. Andy, 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 Andy. Change that from keys to calculators. See this, Andy? Yes. It's twenty thousand dollars. Actually, this is ten. The other's another ten. That's twenty thousand. If you are not absolutely confident about calculator, you don't want to risk risk anything. I'll guarantee you, you can keep that twenty thousand dollars, or. You can risk the 20000 I just gave you, give it back to me, and see if that calculator is worth $200,000. It's up to you. Well, this is definitely more money than journalism major is ever going to see again in his life. This is greed, and I'm, and I'm greedy. I'm sorry, I'm going for it. Well, before we get to the answer, let's find out where we are. Just kind of curious. Samara, do you feel comfortable with this? Do you think it should have been keys? Calculator. I don't know. I always had my keys in my backpack. How about you, John? Have an opinion? No. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Sarah, she thought it was keys. So I'm we in got... LA, though. Hey, yeah. it's OK. Well, $200,000 changed from keys to calculator. Let's see if they guessed right. Sarah was right. Sarah was right. Oh, no. That's tough, Andy. That's tough. Well, thank you all for playing very much. Going to meet our next group of players right after this. Priceline.com, where you name the price and save on airline tickets, hotel rooms, mortgages, new cars, and more. Visit Priceline on the internet or call 1-800-PRICELINE. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. I hate it when they don't win money, so we got a new group of players. Maybe they can win some. Let's meet them. Colette Craig. So I'm at New Jersey, executive assistant, and I keep Shaquille O'Neal in my den. Steve Nadel. Laguna Hills, California, daycare provider, and I was blinded by love. David Ellis. Plymouth, Massachusetts, sound engineer, and I used to work half naked. Natasha Warsaw. Durham, North Carolina, student. I've been on the move all my life. Pam Lane. Seattle, Washington, executive assistant, and I've had the opportunity to meet three United States presidents. Daryl Casalino. 
Carteret, New Jersey, bank manager, and Chuck, I'm an expert on Cubans. All right, welcome everybody. Glad to have you here. Let's get started by asking our qualifying question, and here is your question. According to a statistic in the April 10th, 2000 issue of Time Magazine, what percent of American taxpayers got a refund in 1999? Your time starts now. All right, your answers are all locked in. 73% of Americans got a refund in 1999. All right, let's see who our captain is. We've got a tie between Steve and Natasha. Who rung in first? Steve, you're going to lead this group. Natasha, that means you're in position number one. Who's next? It's going to be you, Pam, position number two. Next. Colette, position number three. We have a David and Daryl. Who's going to stay? Who's going to go into the contestant pool? Daryl, you're going to play. David, you're going to go back into the contestant pool. Thank you, Daryl, right over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your next group for Greed. Okay, let me remind everybody that anytime a team misses a question, they lose everything. Okay, you know the rules, Steve? All right, let's play Greed. Hey, Daryl, how are you? I'm fine, Jack. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to have you on the show. Uh, you're an expert on Cubans. What, what exactly are you an expert in? I'm a connoisseur of Cuban cigars. Love to smoke, love to smoke uh, Cuban cigars. So, what is the greatest cigar you've ever smoked? Uh, the Monte Cristo A. It's a cigar that's longer than nine inches long. Wonderful. Really? And of course, we can't get them here in America, can we? Uh, they're hard to get. <laughs> Thank you for stepping out on that limb, Daryl, yeah. and having the heart to cut it off behind you. I, I appreciate that. Thanks. All right, Daryl, here's your $25,000 question. Daryl, the Orkin man specialize, specializes in getting rid of what? Old furniture, bugs and rodents, carpet stains, ghosts. The Orkin man, I would, I would say bugs and rodents. This is bugs and rodents, Steve. What do you think? I accept his answer. I accept that answer $25,000. Is it bugs and rodents? It is. 25 in your pocket. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. go. Hey, Colette. Hello. How are you? Great. What are you doing with Shaq? What are you keeping keep him in your den, did you say? Uh, well, my husband and I are huge Laker fans. My husband a little bit more than I. Um, and we have a life-size cutout of Shaquille O'Neal in our den, as well as the fact that my second child is named after Shaquille O'Neal. And this one will be named after Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> well, you're really into this game, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Let's hope your children are as well. Okay. Well, here is your $50,000 question, Colette. Colette, which of the following is not an event in the standard triathlon? Running, bicycling, swimming, kayaking. I'm going to say kayaking. She says kayaking, Steve, accept or reject. Um, I'm going to say kayaking also. I'll agree. $50,000. Is it kayaking? It sure is. What are you going to do? Are you going to go on? We're going to go. How are you doing, Pam? Great. Tell me about your encounter, encounters with three presidents, did you yes, say? three U.S. presidents. Who were they? Uh, they were uh, Nixon, Reagan, and Bush. Really? I got to meet all three of them. And why? I work uh, for a major hotel that's located right near the Richard Nixon Library. Nice. And I got to work with to the visit. Secret Service and do their reservations and all, all right. that type of stuff. Well, it's nice to have you here, Pam. Thank you. And here is your $75,000 question. Good luck. Pam, which of the following beverages is carbonated? Gatorade, Hawaiian Punch, Snapple Iced Tea, Sunny Delight, Fresca. Okay. Um, I believe... I'm almost certain the answer would be Fresca. I'm almost certain. So she's almost certain it's Fresca. Well, I'm 100% certain it's Fresca. <laughs> well, then that just makes it right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. There we go. $75,000. Is it Fresca? Yep, it sure is. 
100,000 up next, Steve. You're going to go for that? We're going all the way. Going all the way. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Very well. Have you really been on the move your whole life? I sure have, Chuck. My father was a 20-year military veteran, so we've lived some of everywhere. And we lived in Turkey and Germany, and I was born in Panama. And since then, as an adult, I've moved, and I'm about to move again to Washington, D.C., where I'm looking for a teaching job. Well, anybody other in Washington? Natasha's coming. <laughs> Give her a job. <laughs> All right, Natasha, here is your $100,000 question. Good luck. What would you do with a Mont Blanc Classique? Drink it, drive it, speak into it, write with it, or sit on it? Well, Chuck, I love expensive things. I think you're going to write with it. You're going to write with it. Mount Blanc Classique. She's correct. She's correct, he We're said. We're going for it. All right. $100,000. You're going to write with it. Got it. There you go. happy for you. Well, in this round, Steve, things get a little harder. Each question has four correct answers. You'll be depending on your other players to come up with those answers. Uh, your decision is whether you want to keep that 100000 or whether you want to go for two hundred and risk it. Before you answer that, let me tell you what the category for the $200,000 question is. Popular toys and games. We're going to go. Going to go. We're going to go. Didn't even need to think about it. No. All right. That's the sound of the Terminator. We'll be back to play it right after this. everybody. Let's activate the Terminator now. Colette. Terminator has chosen you. Colette, is there anyone here that you would like to call out for $10,000, win or lose? I'm going to go for Daryl. Daryl, here we go. You've been challenged, buddy. Colette, you'll be on this side. Daryl, you will be on this side, sir. Yes, sir. $10,000. I'm going to ask you one question. Buzz in when you think you know the answer. Anytime you think you know it. Winner will take the loser's share of the pot and play for $80,000. The loser will be out of the game. Okay? Good luck to both of you. Are you both ready? Yes. Yes, sir. What Nevada City shares its name with the current U.S. Attorney General? Janet Clint. Reno. Janet Reno. She got your voice. She was right at you. You don't watch out. Well, well, it worked out for you. Colette, you'll be playing for $80,000. Everybody else will be playing for $40,000. Here is your $200,000 question. Good luck. Popular toys and games, which four of the following six classic toys or games were introduced to the American public before 1970? Tonka Trucks, Transformers, Etch-A-Sketch, Trivial Pursuit, G.I. Joe, Mr. Potato Head. All right, Steve, that means you get a freebie. It's good to take away one wrong answer, up to $2 million. Use it now, use it later. I'm gonna use it later. I'm gonna use it later. So that means we'll start with you, Colette. Give me a correct answer, please. Well, I have two children. And they both love Mr. Potato Head, so I'm going to go with Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. Pam? Okay, well, before 1970. Before 1970. I remember playing with Etch a Sketch. That's two. Natasha? Well, Chuck, I wasn't alive in 1970, but I think that all little boys owe 
No, let me just rethink that. I'm going to say that all little boys like to play with Tonka trucks. Tonka trucks? 1970. It's three. Yeah. Steve? I know it's G.I. Joe. He says he knows it's G.I. Joe. Well, look at all four of them there, Steve. You're the captain. You can change anything you want or you can keep it the way it is. It's up to you. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Here we go. Sound confident. Mr. Potato Head. Three away. Etch a sketch. Two away. G.I. Joe. Tonka trucks, is that what it is? It's a Tonka trucks. Well, here you go. $20,000. You seem really confident, but I'm going to show you this money anyway and let you know that it's a guarantee if you want to keep it. If you don't, you can give it back to me. You can risk that and go for $200,000 with Tonka trucks. What are you going to do? Well, it looks nice, Chuck, but I'm very confident in Tonka trucks. Give me my money for $200,000. Is it Tonka trucks? $40,000 except Colette. Colette has $80,000. Actually, she has $90,000 because she won that Terminator, so she's got the $10,000 for that. Now we're going to move on to an interesting situation that you have $200,000 in the bank. You want to risk that and go for a half a million. Let me give you the category for the half million dollar question, Steve. Popular movie themes. Want to risk it? Do you feel the need or do you want to keep it? I know the category. I think we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. There's the category. Yeah. Terminator again. We're going to come back. We'll play it. Be right back at you. This is Greed. The show that has given away over $15 million. Welcome back to Greed, everybody. We've got a great team going here. They've got $200,000. They're going to risk it for $500,000. we got the Terminator coming up, and here it comes. Pam. Terminator's chosen you, Pam. Is there anybody here that you'd like to call out for $10,000? Yes, I'd like that. Oh, Natasha, Natasha, you've been chosen. Here we go. So, Pam, you'll be on this side since you're going to challenge. Okay. Since you've been challenged, Natasha, you'll be on this side. Here is your $10,000, win or lose, as I said. I'm going to ask you a question. Buzz in anytime you think you know the answer. The winner will take the loser's share of the pot and play for $200,000 in this question. The loser will be out of the game. Good luck to both of you. Are you both ready? Here is your question. In the world of candy, Twizzlers and Red Vines are types of what? Licorice. Licorice, she got you. I got you $10,000. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. How you doing, Natasha? <laughs> you get over that? Boy, it'll stop your heart, won't it? It sure will. Oh, yeah, that's exciting. Well, you're going to play for a lot of money now. Now you're going to be playing for $200,000. Colette's also playing for $200,000. Steve is up for $100,000. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to say this. Here is your half million dollar question. Good luck. I said it was popular movie themes. Which four of the following seven artists recorded themes on the soundtracks to James Bond movies? Let me say it one more time. Well, go ahead. Paul McCartney. Annie Lennox, Duran Duran, Tina Turner, Celine Dion, Peter Gabriel, Carly Simon. I want to let you know that your freebie is still in play. You can use it now or you can wait and use it later. It's up let's to you. use it now. You can use it now to take away one wrong answer and that will be Celine Dion. All right, Colette, here we go. I am 90% sure that it is Duran Duran. Duran Duran, that's one. Tasha. 
I am not at all sure this is a complete guess. I'm going to say Annie Lennox. Annie Lennox, that's two. Steve. Let's go with Paul McCartney. That's three. Now, Steve, since you're the captain, you can answer the fourth or you can pass it to a player. I'll answer the fourth. Okay. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Now then, those are all four answers. They're in place. You may change one if you like. I think I'm going to change Annie Lennox for Carly Simon. You think or you're going to? I'm going to. You're going to change it. Now they're all four in place. We're ready to find out if you can collect a half a million dollars. Ready? Here we go. Tina Turner. That's one. Paul McCartney. That's two. Duran Duran. That's three. Boy, oh boy. You're pretty good at this, aren't you? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, you are, Steve. All right, I'm good. telling you, let me give you a little confidence. You're real okay. good at this. I've watched a lot of people play, and you're excellent. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that, Chuck. <laughs> Just in case you don't think you're too excellent on this <laughs> one. 50,000 bucks. Give it to you, or you can risk it on Carly Simon for $500,000. Well, I think we're gonna go all the way. Give me my money, Steve. Carly Simon for $500,000. I mean, he said he knew what he was doing in this category. Boy, Natasha, did he know? Yes, he knew. I mean, he cleaned up like two of those answers. Yeah. That was incredible. You gave two of them on your own and cleaned hers up. That was three. You were responsible for three, I see out, a lot of moves. three out of the four. I guess so. What? Well, Steve has $100,000. Natasha has $200,000. Colette has $210,000. Now you have a half a million in the bank. And the question is, you want to keep that $500,000? Would you like to risk it for a million? Let me tell you what the category for the million is. Beverages. Beverages. So now, you want to keep that 500,000 or do you really feel the need? I feel the need, but I don't think our, my other two companions feel that need. And I don't want to deprive them of all their money. Either, so I think we're going to stop. Steve, you're a good guy. Congratulations. 100,000 years without their meeting team. 210 for Colette. 200 for Natasha. Congratulations, everybody. Let's meet our next player. Mo Feldman. Los Angeles plumber. When I met my wife, it was puppy love. Randy Osevedo. Burbank, California, retail manager, and I have a mad, mad passion. Amy Lolly. Deep River, Connecticut, attorney. I honeymooned with a shark. Guy Stevenson. East Isip, New York, personal trainer, and I found true love at a dollhouse convention. Mike Rendelman. Rector, Arkansas, work for a sports publication, and I'm the celibacy poster child. Martha Mitchell. Princeton, New Jersey, art director, and I can't get enough satisfaction. Well, what an interesting team you are. <laughs> I just can't wait to delve into your personal lives and find out what you're all about. Let's get started by asking our qualifying question. Here it is. As of today, how many people have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Your time starts now. Okay, your answers are all locked in. The correct answer, 392. So who's our captain? It's gonna be you, Randy. Right over here, you're gonna lead this group. Who's next? It's gonna be you, Mike. Position number one, right over here. Who's next? Guy, number two. 
And next, Amy, number three. It's between Mo and Martha. One's gonna play for over $2 million. The other is back in the contestant pool. Who's gonna play? It's gonna be you, Mo. Thank you, Martha. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your next group for Greed, and we'll play with them right after this. place can't wait to talk to them I uh, want to remind you that anytime a group misses a question they lose everything Randy I know you know the rules yes, I do, well, let's play greed how you doing Mo okay good Mo uh, tell me about your puppy love for your wife well I was at a local dog park here in town and I was with my boss and Terrier Frankie and up a little head in the distance he spotted a beautiful little pug uh -huh. and I spotted the beautiful owner ah. the dogs connected and then so did we I've always told guys, if they have dogs, take them to a park, you'll meet women usually. It's a good Absolutely. idea. Absolutely, yeah. Well, it's nice to have you here, Mo. Thank you good for Good luck to me. you. And here is your $25,000 question. Since 1953, which of the following characters has appeared on comics inside bubblegum wrappers? Double Mint Debbie, Bazooka Joe, Chicky Chicklets, Juicy Fruit Jerry. That would be Bazooka Joe. He says Bazooka Joe, Randy. Do you accept or reject? I've had plenty of Bazooka Joes, and I will accept that answer. Check. All right, 25,000. Bazooka Joe. Yeah. You got it in your pocket, Randy. You gonna keep it? You gonna risk it? What are you gonna do? We're going, Moving Jeff. On. We're going. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. You honeymooned with a shark? I did. Is this like a uh, postscript on your husband, or did you actually? Uh... <laughs> My husband and I went to Tahiti for our honeymoon. Tahiti? Yes. Yeah. And while on the island of Bora Bora, we took a boat out to the reef where the reef sharks are, and the men who operate the boat chum the water so that the sharks come up and you wear snorkel gear and you can go underwater and take pictures of the sharks. Well, but can't you get bitten and stuff? <laughs> well, I was the first person back on the boat. <laughs> Man, I think I would be. Well, I'm glad you're safe and I'm glad you're sound. And Amy, here's your $50,000 question. Good luck. Thank you. <clears throat> How many lines are in a standard limerick? Three, five, seven, nine. Well, I think I've just counted them off in my head. And I believe that the answer is five. She says five, Randy. I've heard a lot of limericks in my day. Can't mention some of them, but I agree, it is five. All right, there are five lines, she says, in a standard limerick, $50,000. That's right. Well, I'm glad you both had some equipment to use there and work with. Well, Randy, 50 in the bank. Want to keep it? Want to move on? We came here to win, Chuck. We're mm -hmm. going. There you go. OK. All right, well, Guy, I want to hear about this dollhouse. You found love in a dollhouse what? A dollhouse convention, Chuck Willery. I say thank you, Guy. Uh, I was, uh, I took an improv class for fun, and uh, the first scene I had was supposed to take place in a dollhouse convention. I see. And uh, I was partnered up with this beautiful girl. And one thing led to another, and bada bing, and now I'm living with her. Bada bing, bada <laughs> boom, there it goes. Hey. Well, now I'm living with her. Well, Guy, I'm, I'm happy for you, and I'm glad you're here. And here is your $75,000 question. Good luck. Guy, where are you most likely to bump into a stalactite? On a roller coaster, on a steeplechase course, in a cave, in a subway, at a Star Trek convention. Uh, Stalag tights are found in caves, Randy. They seem to be instructing you where they're found instead of telling you the answer. Like as if, Randy, if you say they're anyplace else, I will kill you. <laughs> I know they're there and I will accept that. Okay, all right. For $75,000, is it in a cave? Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah! It's the cave 
thing. So what do you think, Randy? Going to keep it? Going to go? We're here to win. Let's here we do go. It. Hey, Mike. Hey. Oh, Mike, I can't. The, the, the celibacy poster child. Well, it's a sad story, Chuck. It must be. Please tell it to us. Well, it's an internet article I write about my misadventures in dating. You know, everything uh, from a, there was a website that said my perfect match was a 62-year-old grandmother in Oregon and uh, then my uh, prison pen pal in Oklahoma. But uh, after today, I'm going to get a dog and go to a dollhouse convention there after you we're go. done. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can learn so much here on Greed, it's just beyond belief. Yep. Okay, Mike. Well, good luck to you. Here's your $100,000 question. <clears throat> Which of the following automobiles is not manufactured by Toyota? Avalon, Odyssey, Celica, Rob 4, Land Cruiser. Is that Rob 4? Is that correct pronunciation? Pardon me, that would be a Rav 4. Well, I drive a Toyota, but none of these. I'm going to have to think that it's, uh, and I'm only 80% sure of this, an Odyssey. 80% sure it's an Odyssey, he says. Do you accept or reject that, Andy? Randy? Give me a second here, Chuck. Okay, Randy. I know we have a Land Cruiser. I know the Celica. Avalon sounds good. I'll, I'll accept Odyssey. I'll accept Odyssey. $100,000. Is it Odyssey? What a guess. What a guess. There you go. There you go, Randy. Good job. Randy, what's your passion? Well, I have a mad passion. See ya. Yeah. It's not exactly what you think. Okay. Uh, when I was four years old, I started reading mad magazines. I went, f didn't bother with Dr. Seuss, went straight to mad magazines. I've read them ever since, and I have a huge collection of them. You ever notice the one that I'm on the cover of? I've seen a lot of them, Jeff. I, I'm actually on the cover yeah. of Mad Magazine. Most people make Post, Time, Newsweek. I made Mad. That's quite, that's quite an honor. That's quite an honor. It was for me. Well, Randy, in this round, questions get a little harder. Each question has four correct answers. You'll be depending on other players to come up with those answers. Mm -hmm. So my uh, question to you is, do you want to keep that 100000 or do you want to risk it before you answer that? Let me give you the category to that $200,000 question. It's Disney songs. Well, keep it. Do you feel the need? I feel the need, Chuck. We're feel going. feel the need. Here we We're go. Going. We're going. All right. That's the sound of the Terminator. We're going to come back and play it right after this. Priceline.com, where you name the price and save on airline tickets, hotel rooms, mortgages, new cars, and more. Visit Priceline on the internet or call 1-800-PRICELINE. If you're smart enough, courageous enough, and greedy enough, you may have a chance to win over $2 million in cash. Greed, the multi-million dollar challenge. For a chance to become a contestant on Greed, call 1-900-407-7777. You will be charged $1.99 a call. No purchase or telephone call necessary. To enter, hand print on a postcard the information shown below and send it to this address. All right, welcome back to Greed, everybody. Let's activate the Terminator now. Guy. Terminator has chosen you out of all of these players. Is there anyone that you'd like to call out for $10,000, win or lose? Uh, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to pick Amy. You're going to pick Amy? Okay, yeah. come on, Amy. He's apologizing while he picks you. Come over here and uh, stand right here. You're going to be the challenger, and uh, Amy has been challenged. Here's your $10,000 guy. Okay. Here's the way it goes. going to ask you a question. Remember, you can buzz in anytime you think you know the answer. Uh, the winner will take the loser's share of the pot and play for $80,000. The loser will be out of the game. Here's your question. Are you ready? Yes, Chuck. Yes. Ready? What classic sitcom has a theme that begins, here's the story of a lovely guy? The Brady Bunch. You got you. You got you. Well, thanks for playing. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, old guy. Shoot. 
Here is your $10,000, guy. Sorry, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's playing for $80,000. Everybody else is playing for $40,000. Ladies and gentlemen, here, or gentlemen, I should say, we're down to four gentlemen. Here is your $200,000 question. Good luck. I said it was Disney songs, which four of the following six Oscar-winning songs were featured in Disney animated films. Let the River Run, Colors of the Wind, You'll Be in My Heart, A Whole New World, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, When You Believe. So, this is a freebie. It's good for one wrong answer. It'll take away one wrong answer all the way up to $2 million. You can use it now or use it later, Randy. I'm, usually, I'm considering myself an expert in Disney songs. A couple of these I need. I'm gonna use the freebie. You're gonna use the freebie? Yes. Okay. Took away when you believe. Prince of Egypt, as a matter of fact. So here we go. Mo, give me an answer. This is completely a guess. Let the river run. That's one. Guy? Uh, I believe it won this year for Tarzan, You'll Be In My Heart. That's two. Mike? A whole new world. That's three. Randy? The final one I'd go for, Chuck, is Can You Feel the Love? Like you. That's four. Now, Randy, your captain, you can change any one of these that you want, or you can keep them the way they are. It's up to you. I think I'm gonna change one, Chuck. Okay. Let the river run to colors of the wind. Colors of the wind. Changing that to colors of the wind. What do you think, Mo? He knows. Okay, we're gonna find out, because they're all locked in. Whole new world. You'll be in my heart. One of my son's favorite songs from Tarzan. Can you feel the love tonight? That's three. That's from the Lion King. Well, got some money here for you, Randy. You like this? In case you want it. You like this part? Well, I'll do it real slow just for you. It smells good. It is. 20,000. Get a good picture of it with me. 20,000 bucks. It's, uh, you can keep this if you want. If you keep it, you give up your opportunity to win that 200,000 Colors of the Wind. It's just up to you whether you believe in that answer or not. I was from Pocahontas, Chuck. And Disney has a pretty long string of winning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. He named the movie, $200,000. Mike seems happy. He changed it from Let the River Run to Colors of the Wind. Let's take a look. 200,000. Yes, you got it. $200,000. Congratulations, Randy. Well, we're out of time, so be sure to join us next Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern at Pacific 8 Central, right here on Fox. We'll see if they go for a half a million. See you then. Tonight's winners on Greed were Natasha Warsaw walked away with $200,000. Colette Cray collected $200,000 plus $10,000 for a Terminator. Steve Nadel took home $100,000. Who's next? Find out next week on Greed.